All right, so family, that is Erna. Two floor house here in Prom Prom, and we're just gonna do a nice little walk around the property uh, no, and outside, and then we're gonna head back I'm not allowed them to, to Accra. Yet, cause I have enough Our neighborhood is gone. And they're not for sale, but I can't Hello. see yeah. people who've maybe had more means. Mm. And to hear somebody okay, say, okay, no, okay. I worked two, sometimes three jobs to make this true. happen, and, I it, did. and it wasn't overnight, and I no, didn't I wasn't. do this, and I did. That I saved up for 10 years, yeah. like I said, yeah. 10 years. And then mm -hmm. saying, if you're going to sell your house, don't want to fall into building. Exactly, exactly. Um, so I'm, I'm, yeah. Uh, also, Ernie, I was trying to, what we're trying to, I'm trying to find out the buildings that you have here and the one that you have right there. Okay, over there is the uh, garage, and the door over there is where the 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 guy that works inside the house. This is my garage, and then the front part of it is the one who works here. That's his. It's a bedroom there, and over here, the other guy that works here. He lives over in here. I was building uh, some little bedrooms for guests who wanted to come. So there's a bathroom in there. I've turned this into a storage room. Mm -hmm. And then I built another bathroom on the back. So the one oh, that I works over it. there can come over here and use that. Have his own. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you're mentioning about the shipping containers. That's what I'm. Uh, well, actually, this particular, I sent over three shipping containers uh, before I actually moved over here that I sent two cars over here and other things. Uh, this shipping container here belongs to uh, a friend of mine from Memphis who stays here. So, so they will bring the container to your property? They will bring it to you. They really? Will. Yeah. You're just going to make the deal at the beginning. You pay for it, that's okay. all. They'll yeah. bring it to you. If Rather you buy than the, you going and trying to figure right. out how to If you get buy it. the shipping container, they will def. I mean, I bought my shipping container. Can I ask how the range? Uh, when I got mine, it was like, uh, I got a 40-footer, and that was $5,000. And a 30-footer <laughs> cost me, I think it was $3,700. It's been quite some time ago. Uh, but that wasn't included in, in the shipping, that was just to get it. To uh, no, that, that was the shipping. And then I think, I forgot exactly how much I had to pay uh, to actually, to buy it. Uh, the first one I bought over here, and it stayed here for a little while, and then it started rusting and everything. So I practically gave it away so they could just take it off the property. And she's had this one here for about four, just about four months, and it started rusting too. I think that's what they're supposed to do, I thought. What? Rust. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are metal. Ernie, can I ask about the water? Like, where do you oh, get the water? Oh, the water from? comes from out across the way. As I said, I had to pay yeah. to bring the water over here. Ten. So it comes from across the road. And then Twenty. if you want to really be safe, because they do cut the water off. I, I don't even think it's running right now. But what happens is that I bought these containers okay. here. These are the first two that I bought when I first built the house. And then as I began to have people coming over here, the, and if the water was turned off, then I didn't have any water. I had to get a truck to bring some water here. So then I got a larger container. If you ever buy a container, never buy Simtex. That one over there. That one was 13,500 liters. It bust three times with the tank filled up with water. And the no. last time it, yes it did. Last time I cried. Sweated all this out and you don't have no water Yes, in the house. I mm. cried the last time. And so when it burst the last time, they came and repaired it twice. The last time, Three times you're I out. cut it up. Say, put it over there. We're going to use it as a container, as a garden, garden container. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I bought this one. These old ones here, poly tanks are made here in Ghana. They're nice and strong. And I've had these right here for 18 years. And so I bought another one, a larger one. So, uh, so you don't run out of water. I don't run out of water. I don't so run do you out of think you, your house would have worked with just this one or no? The big uh, well, one. It depends on how many people, you know, if okay. you have a lot of people so coming in. Like if you have somebody. The one thing about being here is that you learn how to adjust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you're going to be in big problem, yeah. big yeah. trouble. Yeah. So what I do is I have a, a bowl. I have a bowl that I take a shower in. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 I put my bowl of water, put my soap in my, in my, in my washcloth, wash. Yeah. And then I get the shower and just rinse me off okay. quickly. Yeah, yeah. And that way I save. Because you know at home, 
I would get in the shower and stay in there for 15 minutes, just up under the shower, just water running all over me, just enjoying the shower. Here you do that, you won't have no water. And I also try to conserve my uh, electricity to an energy. That's why I put the street lights in, so I wouldn't have to turn my lights on all the time outside. Okay. So I put street lights in like three times because they had the old ones when I first moved in. Mm -hmm. I put those in and then I changed it again about 10 years ago. And then just more recently, I put in the LED lights. Now with these water tanks, do you, is it a catch water basin for the, during the rainy season or do you have to? Uh, no, I have some barrels over there that oh. I catch water in just to kind of water the plants that are around here. So how do you fill the tank? The water. The water comes oh, from Oh yeah, there. that's right, you said it that. It runs in over yeah, here and it easy. runs into the, okay. it runs into the pipes. And see, I see you got your pump and filter system. Yeah, no, not a filter, it's not a filter system. Uh, so this is a pump right here? Yeah, to bring it into, like this one right here, there's water in it down to here, but there's no water up here. That means that water is probably not flowing. And let me see this one. This one is full. And if this one is full, that one is full. This one has never been empty, ever. So yeah, these fill up and run, and then this one is the last one. But this one is, is just about, it's about here now. Perfect. I don't, I don't drink the water. Okay. I use it basically for washing and bathing with it and all, but you know, uh, you can put filters inside where you can filter it. Once you buy them, you can put the filters inside to filter it. Mm -hmm. Smart boy, you don't have a generator. No, I don't have a generator. I should, but I don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What I did so was. How often does your electricity get out? A couple times a month. Okay. But what I did was uh, when I went the last time when I went to America, and then on the street, not long ago, there was someone selling these little flip lights that you can touch and they'll come on. They got batteries in the back. So I use them a lot instead of okay. using that electricity to try to conserve it. Yeah, but as you can see, the the salt, the water, you see again the uh, air conditioner, and just the weather, the salt will just rust up things. The security gates, they rust it up. So I put the rest of them on the inside to help it a little bit better. You can see where I had them all on the outside. You can see there. But they started rusting all out, so I had to take them all down and put them on the inside. And perfect. Uh, can you show us this repat house and okay. then we got to all right. okay, roll okay, okay. out? <laughs> Be careful, the dogs are out here. Look down so you don't step any dog poop. My banana tree here that grows wonderful bananas. This is an a, a avocado tree that I just had planted out here recently. Is that what you have on your... Yeah, those are all avocados. Yeah, I love, I I love avocados. So. I love the way you started all of those that's what that's, that's the way they told me that you should do it. So. Yes, it's, it, it's working. I, yeah. The Irma. Mm -hmm. one acre. Like this is all one acre, one full acre, acre when they were doing 100 by 100 plots. Okay. And I had this door over here too special made. The same one who made the door, who made the staircase, who made my cabinets, he also made this door. Oh, I was trying to get out your way. <laughs> He's following you. <laughs> I see. You don't have to get out here. So this is um, the, oh look, something has hatched an egg out here. No, don't you eat it. Yeah, there's one right there too. Oh, you see another one? Oh no, I don't think that's one. Oh, you ate up the egg, huh? You ate the shell, huh? This is the shell. Yeah, this water tank over here is for the house over here. Uh, this house here has two bedrooms in it. Uh, it's like an efficiency apartment mm -hmm. over here. I built it. And like I said, if I had been real smart, I would have built a two-bedroom house mm -hmm. and built about five of these yeah. around here. And then all of you could have come and stayed out here. Uh -huh. And then I could have made some money. Yes. <laughs> but by the time we're ready to come back, they'll be here and we'll be paying you. I'm not building them. Not, okay. It's not here anyway. Okay. I do hope to get the land and do some, uh, we are trying to get some land to do some, um, you know, some uh, development for those who want to come over to try to help to make it easier. 
But I hear Bomani is also doing the same thing, but there are enough of us coming that if we could work together, we really could make this work. Yeah, I'm recreating what the strength in numbers mean. Like yeah. literally. Mm -hmm. yeah. so we, could, we could really do wonders if we just pooled our resources together and worked together. And we could have, we could have affordable housing. Mm -hmm. You really could. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing uh, I think that's more better than having a community of people that you know that you live around. It brings a bit of security for you, you know, mm -hmm. and having that familiarity around people that you know. You can build that gated community and somebody's at the gate who's letting people in and anybody won't just come in. You can pay to have those security guards around that can look out and you know, help to take care of the... To uh, them to, uh, the well, definitely you have to know them. Another thing I was going to say, in this community, I'm looking out the window of the bus and I don't see a lot of these houses with those barbed wires on the walls and... Oh, right. Yeah, you know, I built, I had these, uh, I had them to plant the hedges. Yes. And the hedges have stickers in them. Okay. So if you try and come Perfect. through them, they're going to prick oh, you up pretty bad. Wow. And it's only been a few years ago that I actually built a wall around here. I didn't have a wall, but the goats were coming in and eating up my flowers yeah, right. and everything. <laughs> so about seven, six, seven years ago, I put up a fence wall, but up until then, I didn't have one. They have like a security system, like you know, in America, like ADT and all. You know. Uh, like, you know, I had security cameras all around here, oh, okay. but you know what happened to them? Yeah. They all rusted and fell off. Oh boy! Perfect. And you're still secure. <laughs> Well, to to an, to an extent, you know, my dogs won't let anybody yeah, come in without. Saying. So I try to feed them well since they are my. <laughs> and they look since, very happy. <laughs> since they are my sense of security, you know, and can I say this on camera? Um, share anything you want to share that you don't mind anybody listening to watching. So my dogs bark, okay, and I get up with Susie. All right. Hello. Okay. Uh -oh. It's going to be some DNA. So, you know, if you're trying to come in on me, the dog's first going to let me know. And then Susie will take care of the rest. Is, 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 is from Detroit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. So, family, that is it, family. We have shown you the outside of Erna House, the first floor and the second floor, and even this wonderful outside balcony area. Thank you. And this is one of the businesses that I really, 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 really wish. I'm hoping to be able to get into. This is your contact information? Yes. I got one. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so family, uh, we have to close out and uh, head back to Thank our crop. So Appreciate you, Erna, as usual. Thank you. And I know another 200,000 people will look at these videos. It's up the, from the last time it was here. There's about 200,000 people that actually looked at those three videos. Mm -hmm. Which is so, it was still unbelievable to me. It's unbelievable to me, too. <laughs> so it's been a pleasure yeah. having you all. It's, um, I but, hope you all, when you decide to move here, make sure you get in touch with me. And uh, let's stay in touch. And somewhere between Bomani Building, yeah, they will hurt you badly if they stick you. Somewhere between Bomani building is and us trying to work together to do some additional ones. Hopefully we can accommodate quite, you know, our sisters and brothers who are interested in coming back. Do you have a donation pot? No, I don't. Why do you need shipping for you? It's not mine. It belongs to my friend. Uh -huh. Why is it there? It's, it's, it's filled up with things. She moved here and... Uh, she moved out of her house, and so she bought the shipping container here. Mm -hmm. It's filled up with things. Oh. Do you mind taking a quick picture? No, I don't mind at all. Thank you. Right there. Erna. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, family. So that is the end. Let me show the last set of the property, and then we're going to make our move.